This is part 46, preparation for NSE4 Fortinet hardware tests. As with any other electronic device, damage to RAM random access memory can cause intermittent crashes. If you suspect hardware failures, you can run hardware tests. How do you run the hardware tests? It depends on the 48 model. Hardware tests designed for both manufacturing testing and for end users to verify major hardware components such as CPU, central processing unit, RAM, random access memory, which is a form of computer memory that can read and change any order. Typically, random access memory is used to store working data and machine data. Three, it's using to check network interfaces. Four, it's used to check hard disk. Five, flash memory. Six, USB interfaces. Seven, front panel LED, those di diodes there, and Wi-Fi. And also there could be multiple different components that we can check during hardware tests. In some tests, uh, uh, E, F and D series models, you can run the hardware tests directly from the PortiOS command line interface. For other models, you can download special HQIP hardware. HQIP stands for Hardware Quick Inspection Package Images. To do it, uh, first schedule a maintenance window and take a configuration backup. Step 2. Prepare a TFTP server and HQIP image for FortiGate. Hardware quick inspection package images can be downloaded on support.fortinet.com so it, they could be downloaded from Fortinet technical support website. Go to download HQIP images hardware quick inspection package images and then enter your serial number. Step 3. Save the HQIP image. Step 4. Run the TFTP server and configure the current directory field where the HQIP image is located. Step 5. Configure the network of the personal computer. Step 6. Connect personal computer to FortiGate via the console port using console cable. Uh, step 7. If connected to FortiGate, Run command line interface command, execute reboot, and reboot the forty gate. Step eight. When, please wait for OS operating system to boot, or press any key to display configuration menu. This sign appears, and then during boot up, you enter. C key to configure TFTP parameters. Step 10. Enter P 
P key to select firmware download port on of the FortiGate. Step 11. Enter I to set the local IP address for the FortiGate and wide area network 1, WEN 1. Step 12. Enter T to set the remote TFTP server IP address for the personal computer. Step 14. Enter F, F for format. So you set the firmware file name, which is the name of the HQ IP hardware quick inspection package image to download, which you downloaded previously. Step 15. Enter R. To review TFTP parameters which you configured. Step 16. Enter N to diagnose network between FortiGate and TFTP server. The steps for uploading the hardware test image are the same as steps used for uh, running hardware test image without saving it to the flash memory. So any existing firmware image won't be overwritten. Forty OS hardware test command. For some models, the command diagnose hardware test Sweet all runs the hardware tests from 40 OS. The hardware tests require user interaction while running. Users can skip some of the steps. Some tests require connecting external devices, such as USB flash drive or network cables to 40 gate. Crash logs. Another area where we might need to monitor is uh, purely for diagnostics. It is uh, crash logs. Crash logs are available through command line interface. Anytime a process is closed for any reason, the crash log records it as a crash. Most of the logs in the crash log are normal. For example, any time the antivirus definition package is updated, the scan unit process needs to close down in order to apply new package. This is a normal shutdown. Some logs in the crash shows they are initiated by a user, which indicates the administrator manually restarted the process. But some logs in crash log might indicate problems. For this reason, the crash logs are frequently requested by Fortinet technical support for troubleshooting purposes. So, for example, we, we can see a crash log which indicates that the HTTP process was restarted by the administrator. Two commands can show information from the crash logs. First, uh, diagnose the back crash log history. It lists a summary of the processes that have crashed how many crashes have happened and the time of the last crash. And the command diagnose debug crash log read provides details about each crash 
In addition to other system events such as conserve mode entry and exit times. Questions. Which information is stored in the crash log? Options. Process crashes and conserve mode events or traffic logs and security logs. Answer. In crash log stores um, process crashes and conserve mode events. Question 2. Which protocol is used to upload the new firmware from the console? HTTP or TFTP? And the correct answer is TFTP, Trivial File Transfer Protocol. Thank you.